Despite some weather-related delays in December, construction of the $94 million La Trobe Institute for Molecular Science, also known as LIMS, is on track. The exterior is nearing completion and the inside is in various degrees of construction and is likely to be completed by the end of 2012. A significant investment by La Trobe and the Federal Government, the facility will be a six-storey building with 34 research and support labs set over 15,000 square metres of floor space. The new building will significantly boost Australia's capacity for world-class research, ranging from medical science to agricultural and plant biosecurity. There are enormous challenges facing us in uh, research these days, um, in particular uh, cancer, uh, neurodegenerative diseases, antibiotic resistance. These are such important areas of research for us and areas in which LIMS has a justifiable reputation as being one of the best laboratories in the world. The building has been designed with research, undergraduate teaching and community outreach in mind. It's absolutely crucial that we attract uh, the best students from schools in the area to come and join us here to study at undergraduate and postgraduate level. And this isn't just simply for the research activities we have here at La Trobe University, uh, but also perhaps even more importantly for the prosperity of Victoria and Australia in the future. LIMS will work with AgriBio, the Centre for Agribioscience, to address major world problems in plant and animal health, as well as tackling human-related diseases. The modern exterior of LIMS certainly catches your eye and will be the centre of the Northern Biosciences precinct. The building's been designed by Lions Architects who actually won an award to, win, to design the building. Uh, Lions Architects have a natural adversity to right angles so to combine their intent with the structural integrity of the building has been a really difficult project so we've had a lot of time spent with workshops with both our consultant team and our subcontractors to make sure that we can make the uh, architectural intent work from a structural point of view. The new LIMS building will see a 30% increase in staff and has already secured some high level scientists who will call LIMS home. We have actually kept our eyes open and we've recruited some really first class, world class people um, such as Richard Simpson who came from the Ludwig Institute in Melbourne and he's brought his group uh, and they're world class proteomics experts for example and there are a number of LIMS fellows who've joined us in recent times somebody's about to join us uh, who's a, um, who works on influenza virus and other human viruses, for example. So we keep picking up people at very senior levels. The facility is intended to vertically integrate the education process and enhance research collaboration, with undergraduate teaching labs on the bottom levels and research labs on the top three floors. At the moment, the three departments that will be going in there, that being the genetics, the biochemistry and the um, chemistry department, are all sort of segregated. So I feel that we lose a, lot of, um, lose a lot of contact from that and it really makes sort of expanding beyond our field difficult. But with the new building and the new facility, we're sort of all in the one place. We see each other on a regular basis. We're all having lunch together and talking about different ideas. And it just helps to uh, enhance our own research and the research of other people. As the university eagerly awaits the early 2013 grand opening of LIMS, one thing is for sure. The future of science and research at La Trobe is bright. Even now with the building going up, there's a lot of people I meet in the university who say, isn't it looking great, Nick? And uh, it, it, it is, it's a, it's a bright building that has a big smile on its face, really, if you'd like to put it that way.